Welcome back to Exclusive Tina where everything is exclusive. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're turning, hey y'all. So today I'll be talking about these faux locks that I put in my head and also doing a quick tutorial for y'all. So I still do have my starter locks, just so y'all know. They are in here, but if you've been following my lock journey, you know that my starter locks are way smaller than the parts that I have in my head. So per faux lock, I have two starter locks. So I did kind of put them together to make bigger parting sections so I wouldn't have a head full of faux locks because that's just way too much. So I put these starter locks in because I am going on vacation. As you can see, I'm packing right here. And I really didn't want to be, you know, bothered with my starter locks honestly why i am on vacation because if you have starter locks you know how it goes like they have a mind of their own and i'm definitely going to be at the beach and stuff so i want to you know give beach vibes <laughs> i'm giving beach vibes but i did want something like quick and can get wet i didn't really want to wear a wig for real because it's way too hot for that but these faux locks were perfect for me. These are definitely going to be my go-to protective style when I do go on like a vacation or something. Just really quick and easy. I am going to be responsible and I'm not going to keep these faux locks in for more than like a week and a half. Just because when I get back I have to do my three month update for y'all and I also have to do my wash and retwist. So I'm really excited about that. But another reason why I don't want to keep these in for a long time is because I don't want to slow down my locking process because my hair isn't free to where it can lock up. I'm only keeping these in for a week and a half, two weeks tops, no more than two weeks <laughs> because we're still trying to lock up over here, okay? So I'm going to do a quick little tutorial for y'all to show y'all how I install these faux locks with four easy steps. Four easy steps. So anybody can do this if you just follow these four easy steps, okay? Um, it took me like six hours to install this. I will show y'all the back of my head so y'all can see like what the parting is looking like and all that good stuff. And it only cost me $60 to put these in. So I'm okay with taking these out in a week and a half because cause I spent money on my time and that's it. I didn't pay anybody else to put these in my head. I put them in myself because I don't let people put their hands in my head, okay? So I just learned to do my own hair and that's how we're gonna do it, okay? Okay y'all, so I took my faux lock out so I can show y'all how okay, I do. So this part is me kinda in the future. So I'm back from my vacation. I took all my faux locks out because I could not take it anymore. I missed my starter locks, so yeah, those faux locks had to go. But I recorded this part of the tutorial and I wasn't in the screen on the camera, so the video, I didn't want this video to like be a waste. So I'm going to do a little quick tutorial for y'all so y'all can see how I put these faux locks in my head. First thing I use is this gel. This is the gel that I retwist my starter locks with. Because I didn't want any buildup and I know how this gel works on my hair. So that's the gel that I'm going to be using. And then I have a little bit of Kinky Curly. This is Bobbi Boss Kinky Curly Afro Hair, which is really good. And then I also have the Bobbi Boss um, Faux Lock. You can pretty much use whatever faux lock you want to. But this is 18 inches and it is really long. It goes like all the way down to my uh, hip. But yes, this is the one that I will be using. And you're going to also need these little black rubber bands you can buy from the beauty supply store or Walmart or wherever. So I taught my sister how to put faux locks in her hair and she has loose hair. So now I'm gonna teach y'all how to put faux locks in your starter locks. So these two, these two starter locks are going to be one faux lock. I opened the hole of the faux lock and put one of my starter locks through, like so. And this is what we're looking like. This faux lock will be between both starter locks. So I take a black rubber band and tie both of my starter locks together just at the end. So it doesn't have to be like super tight or super close to your root, just at the end. So now your starter lock is kind of like an anchor for your faux lock. 
So this is what we're looking like now. So now I'm going to get my hair grow gel. I do not really take the time to part my hair, but I'm just gonna put that at the root of my hair. I don't go in with no combs or anything like that. Cause like I said, it was only in for a week, maybe less than a week. So now I'm gonna take my kinky curly hair I usually cut this in half so that's what I'm going to do because you do not need a whole a whole thing of kinky curly hair so now I take my kinky curly hair and wrap it around my finger so I could put it between both of my starter locks it's just easier to get the hair through both of your starter locks so now I'll go to the root and I hold the afro kinky hair in the root of my starter locks together so i can twist the afro kinky hair around you can do this as tight or as loose as you want i like to do mine kind of loose because i don't like my my scalp to be feeling like it's just really tight but you're just going to twist it all the way down and then when you get to that rubber band i like to do it a little bit tighter but I don't really care about like the rubber band showing because you can barely see it, it's black. But once you get to the end of your Afro kinky curly hair, you just keep wrapping it until there's no more hair left. And I promise you it stays wrapped. <laughs> it does not come unwrapped at all. And if you want to, you can wrap all the way down the full lock to give it a more distressed look. Or you can just stop where your lock ends. So this is how they look. Very seamless, very nice and clean looking. I really do love this technique. It's really fast, really easy. And I just wanted to share this with y'all just in case anybody wants to try it. Now to take it out, I just find where the rubber band is or where my starter lock is. And the rubber band is right here. So I'm gonna go maybe like a half an inch under the rubber band just in case my hair decided to grow really fast <laughs> in a week. But I'm gonna just cut that off and then I'm going to pull down. And this is that Afro kinky curly hair that I'm pulling down. And y'all see, it just slipped right on out. So that's how easy it was to take this out. So yes, that is a really quick tutorial for y'all. So if this video was helpful to y'all and y'all liked it, make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. <laughs>